Hello and welcome to Azure Lane Meta. Today we have for you another meta analysis. This one for the month of June. Well, actually it's three seasons, so a little bit overlap to other months. <laughs> Welcome back guys. Today we're doing a meta analysis video for the month of June. Every so often we have to do three seasons in a month just because not every month has four weeks in it and a little bit over. So I decided to do that for June. And obviously a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video and it's finally here guys. Sorry for the delay guys, but I thought some of the time pertinent information videos were a little more important to get out in a timely manner. So this got kicked a little bit down the road, but here it is. So what are some of the things that we notice? Well, uh, we're just gonna look at the raw usage numbers here. Not too much change. Amagi, Nagato, Warspite, Hero Enterprise, the top five in that order for the next three seasons, just as they have been basically since the Crimson Echoes rerun has allowed more people to get a Magi. I expect in the future with this Nakato uh, rerun in the Ink Stained event, we will potentially see Nagato go back to being the most used fleet in PvP or main ship in PvP. And, you know, but yeah, I'm not excited for seeing more of them. Uh, so that's really what we see. I guess the biggest change that we see in the main fleet is we go from Rishlu not being a thing back in, in the beginning of June to just starting to see like three usage cases uh, towards the end. And then in this final season, we start to see the most usage of Rishlu. I predict that that will continue to trend upward as we finally get PR3. And as we start to, you know, have people level their Jean Bart and their, their Rishlus. Uh, in the main fleet, Fleet, we still see our top three, Yukikaze, Juno, Noshiro. Those are probably going to be remaining there for a while, but we see Azuma treks upward. Percentage of fleets using Azuma continues to increase in every season, and I imagine that's going to continue as more people get to dev level 30, dev level 25, as she's effective at dev level 25 in PvP, and we start to see that. Obviously, in that middle week there, we saw a, a significant increase in the amount of fleets not meeting the, the mandatory minimum to be considered a viable fleet, which, in case you're new here, is 12,000 fleet power and both the main fleet and the Vanguard fleet. I don't know what that was going on there. Most people were playing joke fleets that season, so that's why a little bit there. So if we take a look really quickly at the main fleet pivot table, the most thing that we're gonna see here is Namagi Ru, which is Nagato, Amagi, and Hiru, is the most popular fleet despite War Spite being more popular overall. I only imagine that fleet to be more popular as Nagato is being run, rerun and people who haven't been able to use her because they just haven't had her are not going to be able to do that. So I imagine this is not going to change very much. In the main fleet pivot table here, we do see a change and that is from the Noshiro, Juno, Yukikaze main fleet was the most popular and in this last season, the most popular fleet is going to be your Juno Yukikaze Azuma fleet so that is a change Noshiro gets dropped from the most popular fleet but honestly in my personal opinion you can use any of those four ships in any combination of three and you'll you'll have a you'll have a meta fleet but the most popular use case for people in the top 100 is going to be Azuma Juno Yukikaze. All right, next we're going to go into this pie table. Uh, as you'll see, around 50% is still going to remain in the Nagato section. That's not going to change at all. Some of the things that we do notice is there's a lot more other section. That's just because PRs, people are starting to get them into just usable cases where they're just so powerful stat wise they can just put no synergies in their fleet and still do okay and so we start to see a little bit of those and those get plopped into other because it's like okay if you have georgia and monarch and izumo what what am i going to categorize this fleet as so those go get put into the other section there we see the uh, minor fleets 
uptake a little bit because towards the end of this section is we start to see more French fleets. Obviously, this incorporates also Russian fleets. It also incorporates Italian fleets, but those are pretty small subsections here. Largely, this is French fleets, and in this last season, we start to see a significant uptake in those. So I even imagine that this will be bigger down the road when we do this for the next time. We see very small USS carriers, uh, almost non-existent other Japanese kind of fleets with the Akaga being very small now. We see cranes and bunny fleets tend to be just non-existent. We The USS fleet is probably one of the smallest sections of any of the PvP faction, major factions, and most of them are like carrier-based. Okay, moving on to our time graph. Once again, the blue is the section when we have all the servers incorporated. Obviously, this incorporates the four main servers. We do Amagi separately because they're not up to speed yet, so it kind of would skew the data. The section in white is when we only looked at one server, and so that we looked at a newer server, so that's why we see a little bit lower of the Namagi fleets there. But generally, we see that the trend of that pink line, which is the minor factions trending up. We see not too much change anywhere else that's really significant. I guess Waryu fleets are also going up as we see uh, Warspite and Hiru kind of also take an uptake. I'm not sure if that's just kind of a, a counter or if that's just by chance. We'll see if that trend continues in our next episode here. And that's really all I have for you for the main four servers. But as always, I am also collecting the Amagi server stuff because, well, I thought it'd be interesting. We do this separately because they're they're different. They're just completely different servers based on the age. Now, we have had the Crimson Echoes rerun. We are now in the process of the Inked Stained rerun. So, potentially, we're starting to catch up in what is the meta fleets. If we get the Warspite retrofit item, I may actually start to incorporate the Amagi section into the whole bulk of the data because at that point, we will have access to all of the meta ships that the other servers do. We'll have Nagato, Amagi, Enterprise, Hiru. Those are general ships anyway. And then you know, now we'll have War Spite Retrofit. So that's really all they're missing after this Nagato rerun from the main fleet. And in the non-main fleet, they'd be missing only Noshiru. Noshiru and War Spite are the only two meta ships that are not available in the Imagi server now with the Nagato rerun. So I particularly expect that there would be a little bit more French influence here because we do not have Nagato in this set of data yet. In the next month, when we do this again, we will have that. Now, there won't be as much as you would expect because it's going to be a brand new event, but we will see it. So here we see, as in this final month here, we see a lot of Richelieu's, 32% of fleets, Running Richelieu's and Jean Bart is her favorite partner, basically, in this section here. And yeah, that's really what we have from the Amagi server is uh, the French fleet is obviously performing better in the Amagi server than it does in the other four servers because the Amagi server has a less defined Japanese meta. So that's there. Also, there's no War Spite retrofit to just throw into any section of battleships that you need. And so, yeah, we see a little bit significance there. Hood's still actually super, super powerful. I mean, I still use my hood a lot of times. Yukikaze is still the most popular. Juno is pretty popular. Teeter tottering with that Portland. San Diego now has a retrofit, and she's actually pretty good. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you guys is this heat table. There's not too much here, so I'll kind of be scrolling around through this. But the one important note that I do have for this, we want to look at what ships are being used with Rishlu because she's new. And so what people, what are people in the top meta using? It's probably going to be mostly self-explanatory, but the most common ship that she's used with, 54% of fleets that use Rishlu use Jean Bart. And uh, yeah, that just makes a lot of sense. Other sh ships that she's very popular to be used with is Amagi and Warspite. These are just generally good, strong ships that you can throw in any fleet 
for PvP that will be helpful. And I imagine that most top 100 PvPers have these already maxed out completely. So it can kind of help uh, make those fleets a little bit better if your Rishlu is not like perfect 120 enhanced yet. Uh, another fleet uh, ship that, you know, should be used with, you know, makes sense. Gascon is, is used. Obviously, that's a, a French ship and gets the bonus. And uh, I mean, we see Enterprise, Frederick, Georgia. I mean, that's just, those are just, once again, strong ships, Essex, Tosa. And, and that's really, really where it is. But generally, our primary function for fleets that are using Richelieu are putting her with Jean Bart and then using Warspite Retrofit or Amagi as that third ship right now. Now, when we get Champagne out of PR3, potentially that does change. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the uh, little bit of a wait for this video. I you know, hope that that actually means that you guys got more data from this video and uh, saved a little bit of your time. But uh, yeah, I just want to continue to have these get out to you guys so you can have a running scope of what's going on. We have some new things coming to look forward to in the next month, and I'm so looking forward to sharing those with you. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, do so. If you haven't joined the Discord, definitely do so. So uh, thank you guys for watching and take care.